And welcome back. We've been telling you this week about the BDS movement, the effort by radicals around the globe to boycott, divest from, and sanction the state of Israel, to isolate Israel diplomatically and destroy its economy. Now that's just one of the new battlefields Israel is facing. Another is social media, and Israeli activists are answering the call. Hananya Naftali helps get the message out for the Israeli government across social media, and he joined us in Tel Aviv to share the truth about this great land. Take a look. Thanks so much for joining us here on a beautiful day in Tel Aviv. Thanks for having me. Yeah, great to have you here on The Watchman Show. Man, I've been following your prolific output on social media in defense of Israel, uh, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. How did you get into this? How did you get into this space of pro-Israel activism? Well, I don't know if you can tell this, but Growing up as an Israeli, I actually used to be a shy person, introvert. You? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the moment I decided that, I, listen, I have to defend Israel, I have to speak up for my country, it was when I was a soldier in the Gaza Strip, I was in the Armored Corps, um, and I saw how the media was spreading complete lies on my country. I was in the Gaza Strip. Yeah. I know how we operated. I know the commands they gave us. And I said, okay, I've had it. I'm sick and tired of the lies that are being spread. Fake on... news. Exactly. And I said, okay, I have to make it, make, make it stop. Yeah. And that's the moment I decided to um, make videos, yeah. say, hey, I'm that Israeli. I was in the, the protective You were the there. Yep. And this is what I saw, this is what I did, and that's it. Short, just sharing the truth, yeah. uh, very quick. Actually, I made a, a video with uh, the Prime Minister of Israel as well, okay. and you know, I really wanted to ask him, because he was the Ambassador of Israel at the United at Nations. At the UN of all places. Exactly, yeah. advocating for yeah. Israel. I wanted to ask him, how do you do it? How do you speak the truth about Israel? And right. he said it very simple. All you have to do, is just share the truth. Listen, the people that right. speak against Israel, they have to think how we can spread lies, how we yeah. can spread fake news. All we have to do is share the news. Listen, we have the Bible. Besides being a, a, a historical book and uh, you know a, a religious book, yeah. it is facts. That's right. Sharing the truth. This is uh, one of the simplest things to do. What are some of the things that drive you nuts the most? Uh, when it comes to reporting about Israel, I think of BDS, Don't get me Iran. Started. Yeah. <laughs> well, there are so many things that um, honestly make me angry, and in a, in a good way because it inspires me to speak up for my country. And obviously, I am biased because I am an Israeli. I was born and raised in the Galilee, so I love my country. Yeah. And it makes me angry to see when people are spreading lies about Israel. Listen, when I was a soldier, I. I spent a lot of time in the West Bank, Judea and Samaria, yeah. and I saw how our soldiers were treating Palestinians, how we were treating Arabs. Yeah. I was- Humanely. Exactly, exactly. And saying, listen, the BDS movement, what does it want? It wants to boycott Israel. It wants to isolate Israel economically. What is that going to do to the Palestinians who are working for Israeli yeah. companies? They in are going to lose like their Samaria. jobs. This is insanity. Yes. Listen, Israel is one of the most amazing countries that I have ever seen. It's a diverse country where you can see Muslims, Christians, Jews obviously, and other religions coming together yeah. under the umbrella of Israel. And this is why BDS and all the anti-Israel people make me so angry because Israel is one of the smallest countries in the world. The size yeah. of the state of New Jersey. Exactly, and people treat us like we are the biggest problem in the world. Yeah. I think that real Christians stand up for Israel, real Christians um, pray for Israel because it is vital. Maybe they don't see. It's biblical. Exactly, <laughs> and you know, it inspires me because they don't 
necessarily see what is going on in Israel yet they pray with their faith and we in Israel see the outcome. We see it and it's just amazing. And I want to thank these Christians. Coming up, my final thoughts on this BDS movement against Israel and how you, yes, you, can help Israel defeat it. Don't move.